2019 shared by them as well. So uh, Weber, the opposite for Germany. This time the uh, wing spiker Zimmermann, the setter Boma and Bremer, the middle blockers. Middle blockers for China, Zhang and Rao will start. Liu, the wing side, Mao, the setter, and Zhang as the opposite. Remember, only Wallace outscored the uh, Chinese number two, Zhang, in the entirety of last season's Volleyball Nations League. Marcus Boma, one of the more experienced players in the German party, starts it away with an ace. They couldn't have plotted that better. Already a fear of stage fright for China that needs to be assuaged. Boma booming down another serve. First opportunity to wind over the shoulder came in there from Zhang. And the stuff down at the uh, top of the net comes back at Germany, but that's one apiece. Liu to hit it. Wearing 17, Liu Libin, the uh, wing spiker, 1m97 from Beijing. So an exclusively home-based squad here. No one plays their club volleyball outside of China. Rao Xu Ha, the middle blocker with ball in hand from the service line. Shoveled up by Sossenheimer. Great retrieval, dumped over by Dai, but an overpass here which Germany can look to kill. Sossenheimer missed a trick though there. There's the set. Deflection on the shot from Bremer. But he managed to get the ball over the net there, the youngster Bremer. Just 19. Linus Weber. One Euro silver in 2017 as a 17-year-old Linus Weber. Weber, real power on that spike, came back though, then Zenga, nice high set, pipe finish, China defending, Riker sees the ball come back at him and then back at the baseline to field it, push down, and China worked very hard to win the rally. Tight start to the match here in Jiangmen. Very patient there before they were able to celebrate with Zhang Zhejia. And the first mega rally is saluted. Fabulous finish, ultimately defence as well to keep things going from Mao Tian Yi there off that hit from Riker. <laughs> Jiang Chua. That looked a little long. Yeah, Riker went for the corner. Just overplayed his hand a little. Three to two here. Early exchanges of this contest. Could be an overpass. Shoved back over two-handed. Under it is Zimmerman. And it was Sossenheimer who went cross-court. David Sossenheimer. Turns 23 next month. One of the young players, but still not as young and inexperienced as the likes of Tim Peter and uh, Thomas Kotsian Falken back to uncap novices in this Germany party. Sossenheimer has 18 caps. Dip right on the line. Ace. Oh, 
nice set, which came from opposite to wing side. Had to, really, on that second touch, cutting out the middleman. But Germany resolute here in the first set. Nice idea from Zhang Zheji there. Just to try for the tip, doesn't really matter because they bide their time in the rally and then find the clear corner. So uh, a nice measured finish to, to end it here from Dai Jingyao. Just waiting for his chance there, Dai. Set came from Zimmerman, and again Zimmerman gives it to Reichert, and that's a missile from Reichert. Nice elevation into the shot. Bremer to serve. Good serve as well. Overpass here for Germany. And they can gobble that up. So Boma, the booming Boma from Berlin, 33 years of age. It'll be important for them here in China. 7-4, right enough start for Germany. They lead by three. So, first time out of the match, done and dusted, called by China. On we go with Germany on serve, but side out, so we don't quite get to our first technical timeout yet. Anton Bremer was loose on service. In turn, it's Shang Zhejia. No. Service faults traded. 8-5, and it's the first technical timeout of the first set here. It's over a decade now since these fans were able to see their men's volleyball team in an Olympic Games. Beijing 2008, their last Olympic outing, finished fifth in those games. Twenty-second at the World Champs last year, China fifteenth in the VNL. Finished in ninth at the Asian Games in Jakarta. So it gives you a measure even on the uh, sort of continental scale of the improvements that need to be made, really. Germany's block working. That helps when uh, you've got a tower in there. That's what they call him, Boma the Tower at 2 meters 11.
Service fault, though, from Jan Zimmerman. Oh, that went long. Smooth delivery there. Great flight on it from Mao. 9-7. Well off for Mao Tianyi's serve. Germany hit back. And it is going to be important here, Boma, before the others can come back. Lucas Camper, by the way, not involved in the first two weeks of the uh, Volleyball Nations League because He's uh, it's got a busy old time of it back home, just become a dad for the second time. So he'll be uh, leaving behind the, the nappies and the bottles when he gets on the uh, plane to join up with Germany in week three. They'll want a good position to have been established as well in the VNL table by then. 11-7, so far so good in Jiangmen, China. And off the net, rattling through. China very, very hesitant, tentative in terms of the decision making on how to make the pick up. Another race, and that establishes clear daylight between Germany and the opposition here. The gap is five, just as Raul Lozano calls for a timeout. Well, he's made history, Raul Lozano, by being the uh, first ever a foreign coach of the Chinese men's national team. The international know-how is... You can't put a price on it, can you, if you, you're looking to raise the level of a nation's... Uh, well, level of performance and expectations. Service from Liu Li Bin. Nice quick set, downward angle, nice and sharp there from Boma. Four medals with a national squad for Marcus Boma, including the bronze medal at the World Champs in 2014. That's silver at the Euro in 2017 as well. Too much on that, though. Power serve from Boma. You just feel that Germany are in control here, but too many errors made successively, and China will start to enjoy some belief in themselves. And Zimmerman finally works it to Weber. Quick transition there in amidst the three touches to Linus Weber. come out much to the opposite side for Germany. When it has, Weber's been on top of it. Into the net. Enough power to force the ball over the top. That's a miss from Shang Zhejie, because uh, he's one of the go-to guys. You need him to land shots, Shang. Gap six. Well, we saw Second set, was it, earlier in the uh, first match of the day? Iran was six down at precisely this uh, moment, 15-9. They ended up winning the set. We shall see if China are made of similar steel. Overpass. Here comes Zenga. 
backcourt pipe finish. Well, that's a miss, a clear miss from Moritz Riker. Yeah, the, the calibration, of the jump and the execution of the shot has to be absolutely spot on and wasn't quite there. So China are back to a gap of five just as they bring you into the rotation. <laughs> Little moments like that help. Fabulous dip on it from Jack. Reception and Zimmerman, that quick set again. If they're alert at the net and if they manage to, to make that transition quick, then I don't think China have got the speed of the block to, to shut the door on them. The lead is five now for Germany. And we're at the point of the second technical timeout in this opening set. So the tower, the Berliner. Boma from uh, Olympiakos, five points so far. And uh, they're all chipping in actually from the service line as well. That's a real point of weakness as far as uh, China's defense is concerned. Boma, been winning medals for a decade now. His first gold for Germany was the European League back, uh, back in 2009. Well, Boma was there four years ago in uh, Baku at the first edition of the European Games, the second edition of which is almost upon us. It will happen in a couple of weeks' time in Minsk, in Belarus. But Germany won the volleyball competition in that uh, European Games. Serve from Dai, off the touch, so that renders it the German score. Block touch. Well, doesn't look like they're that happy about it. So in or out call now made by China. They had two years in charge of Germany, did Raul Lozano, 2009-2011. Part of the development of the German men's volleyball. Lifting the level is what it's all about. Well, there is a little bit of downtime as uh, tapes are wound back. It seemed to me that uh, the attack ended with uh, the German spike, which got a touch off the Chinese block and kind of drifted over the top of the line. 
pool was grounded, so it uh, doesn't really matter where it, it dropped. Joust at the net. Nice big high set, but Germany have scrambled back possession. Reichert now, touch off the top of the block. Then Liu with a set behind him, and in comes Jan Chuan. Uh, as long as they can work it to one or other of their go-to outside players, one of which is Jan Chuan then they're always going to have a chance. It's the over-the-head set they used to Shang Jinyin as the decoy there. China on serve here, first set in Jiangmen. They trailed Germany by three. Quick phase play up at the net. And Germany look the business when they get in the groove like this. Fine serve, overpass. So Germany in control now, Zimmermann, and that was the quick offload for Riker to hit the ball down and low. Spomer on the end of it, I, I do beg your pardon. But that quick set there, and even though those two defenders are squaring up to him, there is just enough of a seam to just uh, unravel that Chinese defence. Pushed back by Du Daoshui. Now Germany have it with Weber. So athletic, running into the shot. Knees high, that shoulder rotating round for the power. So into the rotation comes Yu Li Bin again, replacing Du Hai Chan. Set comes over the head, oh, and the block bounces over and inside the baseline. And when you get the breaks like that, well, you know it's your time. Have to get in position, though, to make the block. Germany's defence taking a collective bow. So Bremer now on service. Germany blocking again, bumped up there by Yu. That's the uh, libero there, Tong, but another overpass. There have been way too many of these, rich pickings for Germany. They'll have another go at it. Weber with the tip. Yu on retrieval, and then Dai floats the ball over. Well, the longer these rallies extend, the more confident you are of the more experienced team taking it, working out a way. That was the case there. Bremer at 21-14 now. Well, the best China could hope for there was a touch off the block. None, though. 
Germany's lead is eight points here in the first set. Tip. Oh, did it catch the paint? No, not that time. Well, Boma a little bit relaxed about it. Inches off. China side out. Over the headset, blocking back and reminding us that they can be a force. Newly been there, the wing spiker. By no stretch of the imagination, the uh, tallest in this Chinese squad at 1m97, but using every centimetre of it there. Rattling good serve as well, defended by Zimmerman. There goes Riker, blocked back. China suddenly have belief. Reichert with another attempt. No, another stuff block comes back. Lands as well. 22 plays 17 now. Not once, but twice. Both teams who've used their allotted two timeouts per set in this set. That went long. No block touch as well. Concentration's just slipped away a little bit for Germany, and you see evidence of that in the two misses from Marcus Boma. Tip that went wide and clean out there with a spike. So 22-18. Weber, that's better. Linus Weber in for the winner. From the opposite side, he's got a great technique and a really clean way about him, Linus Weber. The way he strikes through. Well, China have just left in a little too late in this set to uh, unlock the, the draw to their weapons. But it stands them in good stead for the rest of this match to come. 23-19. Blocking, I tell you what, is working now, though. Zhang Chuan, defensively as well as uh, attacking, does his bit. Zhang scored 274 points in last year's VNL, including a league-high 242 spikes. China defending fabulously, but the opportunity is Germany's here. Weber missed the chance, wing side. That's a scoop over the top. In comes the uh, Libero Zenga to set things, and the pipe finish from David Sottenheimer. Match point, not quite yet. Set point they'll enjoy. two mega rallies in this opening set. One to start the set, one maybe to finish it.
clinical finish this from Sossenheimer. Again, they use that decoy middle of the net just to confuse the Chinese defence before the uh, finish is unleashed. So four set points for Germany. And that's one of them picked off. Quite the time as well to find a super spike. So on serve now, China. Yeah, open the door there for Sossenheimer to just push a, a shot down the line and claim the opening set for Germany. 25-21. Would never be described as completely comfortable that, but you never truly felt that Germany were in any danger of going on a, a bad run and having the momentum turned around on them. So, decent enough and a team effort in that opening set to silence the crowd in the uh, Jiang Men Gymnasium. Germany have taken the opening set against China 25-21. Story then of the opening set, 12 attacks to China's five, four blocks apiece, three service points for Germany to China's two, and a fair smattering of opposition errors. 25-21, that first set finished. So all across front court then, Good height being found by Germany's spikers. So, the host nation have gone down in the opening set here. We're at the start of set two as China is so desperate to match the success of the women's team. China have been competing in the World League on and off ever since 1990, the first edition. But uh, they know themselves that they're a level beneath where they want to be. Almost 
most auspicious of starts to the second set either from Yu Li Bin. Immediate side out, so Boma has ball in hand at the service line and aces! First service of the first set was an ace. First German service of the second follows suit. Boma again. Way that neck cord takes all the residual power out of the uh, the service. Kills it on the opposition side of the net. Boma again hitting one down. Set and the finish. Raul Schuhart. Middle blocker from Fujian there in the world squad last year and in 2014 as well actually well having rattled the scorecard Rao dumps the resulting service into the net Wow, Germany really putting pressure on the Chinese from the service line. Effort almost psychologically to pin the host nation back. Just always have them on the back foot. Never, not that time though with the service. Because the variables are so finite with those uh, jump power serves that you get everything right and they look absolutely fantastic. The power, the low trajectory over the net and the dip inside the baseline. But when it all goes wrong, <laughs> power serves can look pretty wild. <laughs> Five two. Sossenheimer, who plays his club volleyball with MKS Bajin of Poland. Set to wing side, and Dai obliges. the net and away and uh, die another day. <laughs> Block thrown back over the top over the net or into the net there from uh, a Chinese defender. The pattern is beginning to resemble that of the first set now. We just saw Raul Lozano step out of the uh, technical area there, make that motion with his right foot. So, just wonder if he's challenging what he thinks is a, a centre line fault. But there's an opportunity for a discussion and dialogue in the Chinese ranks. Just as we wait for results of the video decision. You leave in. Yep, in the World Champ squad last year in the V 
VNL squad last year. Well, his name was made whilst in charge of Slovenia in a, a very famous Euros appearance in 2015, Andrea Gianni. That's why the German Federation got him involved after Vital Einen's uh, stint in charge of the side came to an end. And, uh, an obvious fault there. China were bottom of their group in the World Champs last year. Sweep of defeats at the hands of Brazil, the French, the Dutch, Canada and Egypt all beat them. Not the best set, which Riker tried to make the most of. That's the problem. Only needs to be a couple of millimetres out, but it affects the rest of the operation. It affects the rest of the rally. The pressure of their own here for China as Zhang Zhijie are on serve, and it's on their serve. They've looked vulnerable. Riker with the tip. Zimmerman running in towards the net, had to tap it backwards, and then China can't get their defensive stations organised. Back to trailing by three. The first technical timeout of set number two, then. And just more aggressive there, Reichert at the net, than either of his Chinese opposite numbers. David Sossenheim has been impressive so far. Four points on the board, level there with uh, Linus Weber. He's already a leader at his club. Moved to MKS Beijing now. He's with Friedrichshafen, one of the heavyweight clubs in Germany. Actually, one of only three players in this squad to have played CB Champions League this season, David Sossenheimer with the Friedrich Salvin. So looking at Jan Zimmermann and uh, Moritz Reicher with the uh, Berlin recycling volleys and the, uh, Libero Zenger as well with Frankfurt. Nine five here. Zimmerman deviously dipping serve came back over from Liu and then bounced over back into the net and down. Chinese side, wasn't it? So set off the arms, yeah, now it comes. Just not quite get, getting the blocking extension working. <laughs> Tip, oh, and it has them all scrambling. It's the shot you love to land. Weber taking two out of the game with the tip and then the other three flood in, but neither can dig. <laughs> 24-year-old Moritz Reichert. The serve came down right side, inaccurate set. That led to the uh, two-handed throw. Weber lurking on the opposite wing. Just 
pushing Germany's lead out to five. Just a natural finish at Linus Weber. Take tap and over. Shot comes down the line from Liu Li Bin. And you're not even getting a, a point off the blocker there, really. Very ambitiously looking to thread the shot down the corridor and sort of on that sideline paint. But he was wide there, Liu. Moritz Reichert serving for Germany. His team, his nation are in complete control of this. Set to the good. And now they extend their lead in the second set to seven. It's 13 6. Didn't miss by much, but didn't need to. Serve was long. So just a reminder then that uh, all our teams play each other in the intercontinental phase of the uh, VNL. We'll end up with uh, basically a group table, uh, the top six in that. Proceed to finals week in uh, Chicago. Last year, Germany were ninth in the VNL table. And seven lost eight of their 15 matches. Ended up on 23 points. 29 points was the cutoff. So you had Poland as the uh, last qualifier in sixth place. Then came Canada. Seven, four points back. China, 15th of 16. They won three and lost 12 of their matches last year. The gap seven, but China are on serve. Floater from Miao Ruantong. Sossenheimer, been one of Germany's better players today. So Zhuang Chuang, second only to Wallace de Souza of Brazil, at the top of the scorers' charts last year in the VNL. Not quite dragging his team through to magnificent things this time around. Four points all told for Jiang. That's level with Rao.
plays with Beijing. Turns 25 in August as uh, the opposite Jiang. Still at two metres five. Still not looking at the tallest player in the squad. That honour fills the uh, middle blocker, the second string middle blocker, Peng. Bremer in for the kill. Quick and snappy and speedy over the top of the net. You just see the support player coming in, Riker, if the set wasn't quite right, so that was the contingency. First touch there in international volleyball, full stop for Thomas Kotsi and Falcon back. It resulted in the side out. The man with 16 on his back, Kotsi and Falcon back. He's set there for the kill. But it's a real miss that by Dai Ching Yao. And, uh, back come Germany. Double digit lead now in this second set. Moments like that, opportunities like that from China's point of view have to be taken. You work the ball out to the wing spiker or the opposite player. Provide him with a good set and that's where the majority of your points are going to come from. China have been Asian Games gold medalists, but not since 1998, and not been Asian champions since 1999. Sossenheimer miscues the serve. China did make a, a World League final six all the way back in 96. Rejoin the World League in the 2013, after three years away from it. So a work in progress, really, is uh, I think how we must look at the Chinese national squad. Capable of moments of great class like that from Yu Li Bin. Super block there. Shutting the door on Simon Hirsch. To the net Nova. It's the run of two points there for China, but it's uh, not making much difference to the overall trajectory of this match. Three in a row, Mike, though. Over the head set. Nothing wrong with that at all, but splendid defense from Zhang. Seems to be a yeah, foot fault on that serve. The feet over the line before the ball is released. Look at the change as they're receiving. Do Ai Chang comes in. One metre 94, a little bit lower to the ground, a little bit more mobile when it comes to defending. Tapped up high to give someone room to work out what the best line of attack is.
Zhang. China's 12. Killing it. Moritz Riker, wing side, very capable, very versatile and experienced is Moritz Riker, the 24-year-old from Dudweiler. Through that middle or as part of the wide rotation, he can finish. Sensibly, just turns back in towards the court there rather than try and beat his blocker down the line. Hirsch, who was Germany's top scorer in the VNL a year ago. 183 points for Simon Hirsch last year in 2018. Got that serve wrong, though. And now rotates back out for Jan Zimmermann. And then Zimmermann with a set. But Sossenheimer can't finish. Oh, and Zimmerman just over around the flight of the ball. Mind and body quite working in unison there for Jan Zimmerman. Push down, Riker. That will calm German nerves a bit, I think, because there was a lead of 10 in this set. And it was paired down to six. Back to seven again here, though. We've seen sets lost, of course we have, from this position of ascendancy, but I don't expect it here. Over the headset, pipe finish. Boma blocks off. So China add another to the tally. There's the set. Touch on the block, and that was useful for China because Du was almost back over the three metre line as he hit that spike. He was shy of the net, no question. Serving his newly bid with an absolute boomer. Ace, newly bid for China. Through as an arrow, spinning away from Sottenheimer. Into the net, over we go, another point for China. This is extraordinary. They trailed. They looked out of sight in this set. Now they have dreams of winning it. Must have been inspired by that Iranian comeback earlier. China have won six of the last seven points. And it's turned the second set into a fascinating matchup.
off the block. And all of a sudden, Chinese resistance, Chinese momentum is just undermined slightly. Germany move up now to within two points of taking the second set here. Bomer on serve. Throw down. Zimmerman was beneath it. That block had to work, it had to stand tall, and stand tall it most certainly did with Rao Shuhan. Well, the amount of times we've seen the uh, monster, or heard the monster block music for China. They just haven't quite had the attacking so far. But this is still a, a three-point set here. Uh, make it four as uh, Germany stepped to the verge. 24-20, they won the opener 25-21 here, so two tight sets. Scratch that one off. First set point. Jan goes long with his serve, and that's a gift for Germany. Both sets one and set two here have gone the way of Germany. 25 to 21. Silence is deafening around the Jiangmen Sports Gymnasium because China are being schooled here by their visitors. Germany have a two sets to love lead here. Just one more set needed. And they've won their opening match in VNL 2019 in a sweep. Eleven attacks there for Germany to China's seven. China out blocking the Germans, but being out served. And a healthy collection of opposition errors there, contributing to the tallies of both China and Germany here in Jiangmen. So the action will continue over the weekend here in China as uh, we see Germany's serve placement in that second set and uh, a nice smattering of aces.
Weber has scored off serve. Boma, Sossenheimer, Riker. It's one area where they have completely dominated the Chinese. It'll be Italy next for uh, the German squad. China face Iran in uh, an all Asian matchup in the second match tomorrow here. And then Sunday, June the 2nd, Germany will finish against Iran. China end against Italy. Well, the Italians might be casting envious eyes here over what Andrea Gianni and his German squad are doing to China because it's a business-like display here from Germany. The visitors, the Jiangmen, have had some difficult moments, but generally they have been tough enough here to establish a, a two sets to love lead. Looks like an overpass straight off service. Germany off and running, already in set number three. <laughs> Boma overreaching from the service line. Set comes over the head, Faber blocked back down. Germany working hard to wrestle control back. It's pushed up to the wing-sided player. The attempt from the tip, though, comes back at China from Liu. It was the player who really had the chance to end that rally in China's favour. I think Andrea Gianni will be well pleased with what he's seeing so far from his German team. Short of some of the big names, the younger players having to step up, and that's what they're doing here. Faber, again, biding his time to thread that shot through six arms, three blocking players. We're going to see an in or out challenge here. Clearly out. As you were. Liu Li Bin now with the serve. Boma picks it up. Quick ship on there to the man wearing 12, Bremer. Not at the first time of asking, but at the second. Anton Bremer gets the throw down. Set to the opposite, and off the arms of the blocker. That was just a, a far tidier piece of play from China. Zhang for Zhang. And off the block for the point. Zhang, again, uh, down for the one-handed finish from Zhang Chi Yin. Unorthodox, but rewarding. Thanks, 
extraordinary technique there, throwing with one hand, almost spinning, sliding your palm across the leading face of the ball. Riker, wow! Punched that more or less into the face of Yu Yao Chen. to clearing the net, I'm afraid. That's uh, from Anton Bromer. 5-4. Overpass. That's where China should be killing. That's where China should be getting points at the net. Speed of thought more than anything. That's the overpass, and that's where you need men in position to kill. Well, they're overpass that time. Germany have defended it. That's the difference. Great save that from the uh, lunging Zimmerman. Shot sent over by Riker. Blocked back again off the arms of Zhang Jinyin, whose height's a real weapon. Two metres seven. Level with the Zhang Ya, but still not the tallest player in the squad. That's Peng, who we're yet to see from the long list of 25 at two metres eight. Zhang Jinyin. Fielded by Boma. The push by Zimmerman. And Weber went high, got the untidy contact, but at least got the ball down. China side of the net. And the energy has to be kept up here. Drilled serve. Seven six now. Overpass. Oh, China recover brilliantly. Second touch. In that attack came from Yu Yao Chen, and it was a terrific touch. It was a throw on the block, wasn't it? Not only do you block it, but you push the block. So you actually put direction on it too. Zhang Zhejia. in again, that confidence seeping through them now. From, of all people, couldn't get the ball wide, couldn't get the ball across court or thread it. So, take seven. Eight points so far today for Linus Weber of Berlin Recycling Volleys. Seven off the spike. I've seen him bag an ace as well. One with four of his colleagues here.
nice interesting player athletic just 19 so can only get better too from where did he come from opening point of the match for Christian from the big Berliner under wraps you sense for the majority of this China leg first up in the BNL Christian from well, they've used Marcus Bomer Good bit today in the middle blocker. Fromm's one of the uh, medal winning legends in this party. From again. Yeah, off the block, down, spinning away. Full touch. Probably sensible that Gianni drafts in Christian Fromm to get the job done for this victory have been laid in sets one and two. Linus Weber on serve, nine all here. Yeah, an inadvertent touch, whether he was off balance, whether an eye he took his eye off the ball there, Yu Yao Chen. So he, uh, he knows, but it's given Germany the lead at 10-9. today but service faults too for Linus Weber from off the block bold attempts to save it but ultimately fruitless Lily Bin First touch from Liu. Tong. He's never going to get there. The Libero. From serve. Wow, what about that? A reminder of the class of the player. Looks like we're going to have a challenge to this. Well, we had the perfect sort of behind the end angle for that service from From as he, he beamed over from the service line. So it's an in-out challenge, which has been raised by China. That's the understanding at present. Yeah, so video evidence suggests that, uh, well, proves that the initial call was correct. Unsuccessful challenge. Germany go again. Take nothing away, by the way, from the brilliance of that serve from uh, Christian Fromm.
a little bit safer with that one from. Bank of three set themselves at the net there. Block working on the uh, first attack. Not the second, though. Ron was the target, actually, of the, uh, the spike from China's Jiang Shuan there. Rao Shuhan serves. Oh, spins away off Fromm's fingertips. Too hot to handle. <laughs> Haven't been too many of these for Chinese supporters to celebrate. Points off the serve. There certainly was one there from nice high set over the head it comes to Weber and the double block just hugging that far touch line is unsuccessful in trying to repel Linus Weber that's long though and loose from Anton Bremer. So perhaps a sense of Germany slowing down a bit in this third set and China picking up the pace. Well, more serves like that and they'll be all right. Jiang Chuan, we know all about his qualities because the formidable Point scoring record in the uh, BNL finals last year. Well, BNL competition full stop last year, where he was outscored only by Wallace de Souza of Brazil. And that, of course, is without playing the extra matches you, you get through qualifying for finals week. Raw every time China score, and the precise opposite every time Germany get on the board. So obvious reasons it's been a pretty quiet evening in the Jagmen gymnasium Germany win the joust, it was Marcus Boma always going into that head-to-head -head as the favourite. More often than not, it's that sense of uh, conviction in the defence, really. Helps when you're as tall and as imposing as Marcus Boma is too. No worries about the height of a lot of these Chinese players, but it's quite often the build and the other physicality. Second technical timeout then of set number three. Germany have won the first two sets and they're leading here 16-15. Chinese wing spiker, five points to his name so far from Shanghai. Part of the uh, World Championship squad last year, so an experienced player, one that's always going to be looked to for advice and guidance from the younger players. Only a couple of Asian Youth Championship squad members have been blended into this senior setup as far as the Chinese are concerned. They have an average age of 24. The 
Chinese squad, the, the long list, but look at the players that they've selected here for Jiang Men, and that number is bumped up to about 25. Jang on serve. Power on the service. And the direction and accuracy were there to for an ace. <laughs> Off the block. That will level up the set. 17 all. All of a sudden, Andrea Gianni in Germany were just factoring in this fourth set. <laughs> Not the first time he's done that, Marcus Boma. Lovely reception, but what a block. At the end of this third set, China are coming good defensively. Standing tall all of a sudden and have the answers to Germany attacks. Monster block again here for China. Liu Li Bin takes the plaudits. Tapped into space. China have retrieved Yu. Back over it comes. Senga has to set it up. Touch off the block. The whistle went because of something Andrea Gianni said. He's called a net fault. Oh, Gianni's called a net fault, that is. So. Basically, that goes to a challenge. And uh, we cue the tapes. but it's just an exercise, even if this challenge is unsuccessful, just bringing down the mood a little bit, because the fans inside this arena were starting to get very noisy. Of course they were going to get noisy the way China have performed in this third set. But just a sense that this set was beginning to run away from Germany, so the coach has just slowed it all down. Obviously everyone will be aware match having been completed earlier and today's match out on court that there have been one or two issues with the, just the speed of getting Hawkeye queued up. So 
no fault. From block back down, brought with another touch. Faber over the top to the wing sided player. And Germany can't block again. So, can you believe it? It looks like we're going to head for a fourth set. 21 17. 21 was the score China reached in each of their first two sets. Both sets they lost. Now they have a lead of four and threaten to take us into a fourth set. <laughs> Initial vulnerability off their own serve here though for China. Twenty-one seventeen for China. They will make the most of the overpass as well to build up a lead of five now. Tip. They're even reading those now. Faber with it all slammed on him. High set. And Chow comes in to score. Even though he was off balance. 23 plays 17 now. So the lead of six. Just two more needed. And China have won this third set. From, goes long, you blocked it though. They're playing with a new lease of life now, China. Overpass though, From will hit it down, 23-18. So Germany back on serve, but for how long? Into the rotation comes Thomas Kossi and Falken back, and Simon Hirsch to help out defensively. Got Tim Peter under wraps as well. Down it goes to set up the set point. Well, that was sure hard. Well, you can't imagine, you can't blame him for wanting to bring the house down with that serve and scoop up the set. They're going to have to do it with a side out, though, because from is serving here for Germany. Nice low serve as well. Overpass from Rao. Who's then able to block down again, supported by Du. And you stationed back over the baseline, setting up Du Ai Jiang to spike China into a fourth set. They've won the third here and prevented a sweep from Germany. So 
those fans with something to cheer in the Jiangmen Gymnasium. Having been second best quite clearly in each of the first two sets, which they lost 25-21. China have now taken the third set here, 25-19. And we will move into a full set here in Jiangmen. So, a lot more even now, isn't it? Germany just out attacking the Chinese, 11 to 10. Better blocking again from China, better serving in that set as well, as the Germany seem to tire a little. So, just like Iran turning over Italy, we move into a, a fourth set. Germany's third set setter contact points here. <laughs> set four. China very much in the match. Service faults traded at the start of the fourth set here. Veba, <laughs> yeah, well worked, nicely done. Just making sure he, he won that joust there with uh, Yu Jiaha. Chinese began against Bulgaria, Argentina and the uh, United States in a home leg. That was in uh, Ningbo. It's the venue for the second leg of this year's competition. plus France who will take on the Chinese in Ningbo next week. The Germans will travel to Canada where they will face the Canadians naturally plus Australia and Serbia. this far into the match and having become competitive, they won't want to let it slip now, China. Yeah, 
there's some interesting video challenges being put in. They do have a limit on them per set. Whatever. Germany on serve here. Good set that, wasn't it? Pushed out wide, no chance for you to scoop it up. So Sossenheimer continues on service. Germany have just restored some equilibrium. Dead weight set. He's going to have to try and do it again there, Mao Chan Yi. Made hard work of it, but they got it. Five to three now. <laughs> Zimmerman in quickly there. Linus Faber goes cross court. They're going to try and pick it up again. That was Chen with the touch, blocked back. And out. Well, it's just really firing your defence on it 100% the whole of the time. They simply didn't start the match at this level, the Chinese. Now they've reached game intensity. You're seeing what they can produce. Raul Shuha, I just think it's a case of experience, really. You look at the personnel in the, the Chinese party, they don't play in South America or Europe in the big leagues, so they don't have that competitive environment around them continually. It has to have an effect when the best players come together with their national squads and play these international tournaments and competitions. Yes, of course, there have been massive steps forward, but in terms of just getting it all together and being consistent and maintaining that level without too much of a drop beneath a certain standard across the, whatever, five, six weeks of these major events, then that is a major obstacle to cross. Once they can crack that, we will start seeing them in finals weeks. Zimmerman serves. His opposite number finishes the rally, Yuli Bin. China service. 7-6. Oh, yeah, the grimace there from Du Haichan because he knew that was very, very close. 8-6, though. So it's a technical timeout in set number four here, and Germany have led us to it. Liu Libin, top scorer joint for China today with Jiang on 11. Five spikes, a couple of aces as well. Four points, one off the block for Liu Libin of Beijing. So play will resume then here in the fourth set.
Good rally shaping up here. Double touch in the rally. Side out, so Chen long high now. This is an serve from Chen, that's power though on the spike from Sossenheimer. Marcus Boma to serve now. Great defence, what improvisation to scoop it up and over. The crowd enjoyed that one. And then the digging out to prevent the floor touch and finally winning the point themselves. That was heroic from Team China. So, fourth set continues. Yu Yao Chen on serve. Sengaru scoops it up there, the libero, and we're now at nine all here. Can China sustain this all the way through into a deciding set? Belief is the important factor, really. From that, all else stems, and it seems that they have it now. Such a shame that they start these matches so tentatively. Another good serve, forcing Reichardt out. Third touch is very long from Sossenheimer. The quality of the serve then forces the opposition into mistakes. Having that first crucial building block and a solid building block, and that's what they have there with a serve that works, China. So you're just watching a team that's in the process of putting all the elements together that you need to be successful and to win a volleyball match. 10 9 here, and Andrea Gianni has called a timeout. China continue on serve, in the lead now at 10-9, set four. The lead is now two, and Liu Li-bin uh, laying claim to MVP for the day, certainly one of China's more valuable contributors. The flying block there, he's ably assisted by Rao Xu Han, but again, that's simply Fine defensive play. You off serve, goes long, that's Zimmerman. Looks like Germany have lost any conviction that they can beat this, chi this, beat this Chinese block now. Liu Li Bin really coming to his own as a star performer. Zimmerman beneath it, 
Sossenheimer manages to cut across. So there is the odd moment when they can find the floor as they try to work out how to get past this uh, Chinese defence. Well, China just more astute now in reading the line of attack the other side of the net and getting bodies in the way of the shot. Anticipating, committing, and then defending. So Hirsch launches a serve into the net, so no sooner does Germany get back on serve. Then it's thrown the other side of the net again. So Liu Libin again. Over the headset. One arm thrown into space there by Simon Hirsch. Not really able to show the heroics that made him Germany's top scorer in the VNL last year. And once again on their opposite side, the block is too strong. Another two Germans crowded out. Bremer first time round and then Sossenheimer. Well, again, the whole of the foot has to be behind the line for the points of contact on service. Match of two halves, first two sets, all Germany, ever since, all China. Overhead set, throw down is out. China point. <laughs> Just wonder what uh, China's women are making of this. They are genuine heavyweights in uh, the world of international volleyball. The reigning Olympic champions from Rio, China. Three Olympic gold medals. They've won two world champs. They were bronze medalists in the VNL for women last year, China. The men are trying to raise their level. In order not to feel left out. Tobias Krik joins up. Comes in for Marcus Boma. And this is the problem with Having so many younger and more inexperienced players in the squad, you have to rely on players like Boma and Fromm and now Crick. Those only 20 did win the Euro Silver in 2017 with the German squad. Ready 38 caps. 16-12 for China. And it's time for our second technical timeout of the fourth set. Eight points in Germany's overall tally today. Moritz Reicher, the 24-year-old from Dudweiler, who's been a, a German champion and cup winner in the course of the last 18 months with Berlin recycling volleys. So played beach as well with Clemens Wickler. Scored eight points for the day. Six with spikes.
Germany needed that for the confidence levels and just to lift the morale a little bit. Hirsch running into the shot, crashing it against a, a Chinese blocker, bouncing away for the point. And uh, it's the second serve he's got wrong. Thomas Kotsian Falcon back. But allowances have to be made. This is his debut here and now today. Beaming serve there from Du Hai Chao. Generally have realised just how serious this is now and you just sense a lift in the levels that the energy for one. The conviction almost in the body language of the way they interact with each other as well, are kind of sort of dusting themselves down and right. Let's dig in. What can they do here in this fourth set? Moritz Reichert from the service line. <laughs> that was touch and go. Where did it land? Yeah. They're not surprised to see a challenge there. There's velocity on that service from Moritz Reichert. Was there accuracy to go with it? All will be revealed very shortly. No. The initial instinct was good, but the ball was out. Clever. He just held back there, he didn't reach into the shot, Sossenheimer. And in that split second of calculation, just waiting for the defender to commit and then deciding to play the shot against the uh, defender's arms. Back over the overpass, but it landed in, so had to be dealt with. The shot is good. And a push on. Have a lead of four. Over the head from Cotier, Falcon back. It's a German point, but that really was touch and go. That could have gone either way. And it's relief, actually, from a German point of view. Well, the Chinese reel away there as if they've secured the point. Hirsch on serve there for Germany as they trail by three. It's back up to four. China on 20. Who would have predicted a deciding set in this match? The way Germany ruled the roost in sets one and two. Quick set, Bremer. Sossenheimer now to serve. Can they really rescue this set? Gaps three, no, it's up to four again. They're just not in the mood to squander the opportunities now. There was tentativeness, there was a sense of hesitation, dare I say it, stage fright about China. Coming into this event, day one, match one here against Germany, didn't quite know the attitude to have. 
Didn't quite know how much respect to give Germany. Oh, it's another ace that's flooding in. 22-17 now. The role reversal here has been quite spectacular. And it's Germany who've ended up looking the nervier of the two. Fade off the service which lands it inside the baseline. Twenty-two seventeen in the fourth set here for China. They're heading for a decider. And the Reichert gets a, a nice clean contact, but can't ground the ball. Kossi and Falkenbach sets it up. Then Reichert goes again. Intelligent choice of shot, but it's well defended into the net, and it seems nothing can stop this Chinese Express currently. So Germany awarded the point, which the challenge from Raul Lozano is unspecified. what there is of course as we wait for the decision to be made when a challenge is put in is a good few seconds unbroken contact between coach and players benefits both of course yeah net touch foot felt Take your pick, really. Germany winning that point in about three ways. Doesn't do them much good, though. Straightforward follow-up from Dai Hai Chang. Immediately restores that five-point buffer. Just the one defender as well in Kossi and Falcon back to try and evade. What a serve. Good mind knowing the uh, kilometers per hour on that. Every bounce, though, is uh, kind to these Chinese hosts. That's the way it goes sometimes. That's been the way of the second half of this match. And now, who would bet against China rattling off three straight sets in the decider? Because a decider for sure is what we're going to have. Reichert might pull Germany up to 19 in the meantime. Gossian, Vulcan back. Oh, his first two serves in this match were service faults. At least he got the third one over as they defend this set point. Germany right on the edge, but no, no stopping Chen. 
and you between them who get high for the uh, low throw as we move into a deciding set, a fifth set here in Jiangmen. Well, what an interesting, exciting day it's been on day one of the VNL here in this China leg because Iran beat the Italians earlier and China, having lost the first two sets against Germany, have got on to win the next two and they have all the momentum to take into a, a first to 15 deciding set here in Jiangmen. Terrific entertainment here. It's two sets apiece. One more push is needed from the players of China and Germany here in the deciding set. You get an indication, don't you, of how much China have come on in the course of this match, out attacking the uh, Germans, out blocking them, and getting on parity with the service as well. A newly confident outfit now, Raul Lozano's team. And how they will be confident of welcoming all comers to uh, Jiang Men after today. Of course, the next two fixtures against the other teams in this group, the Iranians and Italy. They've turned this one around in very, very impressive fashion. Jiang with 15, Liu with 14, but China receiving first in the deciding set and striking first as well with Du. So he moves up to eight for the match. Overhead, nice forward movement there, pushing the, the pass into the path of Bremer. 1-1, one, one. decider, first of 15 in these deciding sets.
opposite side to wing side and again China showing how more sophisticated they are through the transitions now. Okay, they tempted the blocker over there as Germany tried to defend. It was Bremer there alongside uh, Simon Hirsch. But the cleverness of the shot to go cross court, to hit that trailing arm and then make sure you win the, the point off the, uh, the sort of dying of the block strike spike. That's where they've improved and that's where they've seen better. It's an argument for relief there, but Germany have decided to keep it in play. Hirsch over the top at 2-2 here in the deciding set. It's the two-armed overpass, thrashed through with a right shoulder off the top of the German block. And China are just being rewarded. What is that old saying about fortune favouring the brave? We're seeing it here with China, who may have taken the decision. We've got nothing to lose here at the end of set two. The two sets to nothing down. Amazing what a little bit of abandon can do to a sporting performance when you just release that, release that valve of pressure. serve again. Quite fabulous. <laughs> serve rolled off the bottom of the palm over the top of the net. Overhead set. Oh, all the tricks are coming out now. Yeah, Germany just... Put an umbrella up in this hurricane. That must be how it's seeming at the moment. No matter what they can do, there will be another spike coming at you from over the net any minute now. But China again, although they lost that rally, are just better organised now. Just have more faith in their own defensive and attacking structures. Nicely done. Tobias Crick showing Germany what they've been missing. Joint tallest in the squad at 2 metres 11 with the giant Boma. They're now rotated out for Linus uh, Weber, or rather Thomas Kutzi and Falkenbach is. What a serve. Brilliant that from Hirsch. The time is now to deliver the Germany's stars for the big names. We know that with 15 matches to play across the round robin group, you can afford a couple of defeats. Of course you can, but against whom? Each nation has their own different set of expectations and different set of realistic hopes what can be achieved who they could be who they could afford to lose to Germany being beaten by China it's a, not a situation that will help them in terms of getting above the cut line and finishing in the top six
Simon Hirsch is going to serve here. The player who's recently joined Power Volley, Milano. Spent five years in uh, Italy. Big player, big experience. Big moments here, though. A long way from home in Jiangmen, China. Zhang Chuan now, one of China's stars. 18 points for the match, 14 off spikes. There's been a lot of that from Chinese players from the service line. It's a case of discipline, really, individual discipline. Foot faults that have gifted Germany no end of points. 7-6. Sossenheimer's serve. Shame. Straight into the net. Seven all. So tense here. Whatever happens, this has been a supreme effort by the Chinese team. No question. Denga comes in. There's also absolutely no doubt at all that all that momentum is behind the team in red, the Chinese. Germany just about have the edge here in the decider. End change then. Technically at the midway point through the deciding set. First to 15, but you have to be too clear. And of course we've seen some dramatic extensions down the years. Difficult swerving serve to deal with. Ibero with a touch, Germany leading by two. Solid defence, that was a, a terrific save actually by Crick back court. Now here come China with their two. Zhang Chuan making it 9-8. Decoy, Reichert with the finish. Uh, they had a dummy player mid-court. Just upset China sufficiently to leave that attacker free on the wing side. So a nice intelligent set, bringing Reichert into play. Here's Thomas Kotsian, Falcon back, serving at critical moments here. This. 21-year-old, inexperienced. Oh, he's threaded the serve through at the best possible time. Now then, he's misfired from the service line earlier. The youngster, Gossian, a falcon back. But oh, you start delivering at big moments, and that's when you get a reputation for being a big player. The 
The ace from Thomas Kossian Falcon back then. Which has pulled the pendulum back behind the German squad in this deciding set. 11-8 here. The same young player continues on serve. He's keeping them safe now. He's making sure he lands them rather than going for power. To swipe into space from Riker. But again, China are dogged and they dig in. And they have just not made it easy for Germany, as perhaps was the case in the, the first two sets, giving their European opposition too much respect. Zero chance of that now. Three points in the match for Yu Yao Chan. And he will now serve. Another gift, another gift for Germany. And this is it, you fight so hard, you expend all that energy to get back into a position where you can dictate the match and in charge of the momentum almost. Then that goes, and we're left now with a bit of an impasse that Germany are filling. Rattling good serve again. The more experienced campaigners from way back home in Europe are coming good at the end here when it matters most. 13 to 9. Thanks to Riker, who is on course here to finish the match as Germany's top scorer. Another cracking service. Pushed up by you. Third touch goes long. And with no backlift at all, with no purchase behind that shot, Jiang Chuan still managed to kill it. Fantastic throw of the right arm. Liu on service now. Ah, too hot to handle. 14 10, Germany at match point. Goodness me. It's been a tough one, it's been a gruelling one. It's been a, a war of attrition at times, but as we nudge towards the two hour 30 mark, Germany can secure their first victory in this year's VNL. China saving for the time being, Kossian Falcon back, and that's pushed on by Sossenheimer wide. 14-11, they're challenging it. Straightforward in or out call. So we saw Sossenheimer there try and get round the shot, so narrowing down his angle as he went cross court, so less room to work in there. That means you have to get the ball down quicker. Did he manage it? Oh, no, by that margin. Virtually impossible to tell with a naked eye. That's why Hawkeye is such a positive development for the game. China, fight on. That's the nuts and bolts of the situation. And they have service as well with Raoul Schuhan. Germany to end it now. And Hirsch does exactly that. A two hour, 30 minute battle in Jiangmen has finally gone the way of Germany. They took the first two sets, 25 21, the score in each. China took the next two, 25 19, the score in each. And then when it came down to the decider in the fifth set, Germany managed to concentrate their efforts, refocus, regroup, retune, and they won it by four in the end, 15-11. But what a match and what a pair of matches we've seen in the Jiangmen Gymnasium on the opening day of the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2019. There have been victories for Iran, 
and Germany. But all told, it's been a fabulous day for Asia. Confirmation then, 3-2, 15-11 in the decider. Top scorers.